that's fish number five. This is the biggest one. Hey, can I get your help? Yo! What's up guys, good morning. I am late. <laughs> Supposed to meet a buddy of mine about an hour and a half ago, but it's probably gonna be two and a half hours behind schedule when I meet up with him. So I'm sorry, Justin, about that. Today's episode, is sponsored by Guggen Squad. You guys, we're gonna be throwing a lot of their gear today and also all the pups are hungry. I gotta go ahead, get them fed so we can get on the road. I'll catch you guys here in just a second. We're gonna be late, gonna be late. Thirty-three miles to the destination, and fifty-eight miles till empty. But I have a feeling the truck's exaggerating, and we may have to stop to get gas too. That's not going to help our arrival time. Beautiful day, and Justin says the bite is hot. So let's go, man. The Bass Forecast app gives us a six point three out of ten today on the bite rating, and uh, also if we click the major bite times, we're like in it, man. Feels almost on E, but I think the bite's gonna be good for the next two hours is what this says. It's wrong a lot, but it's also right sometimes, so I just glance at it. Anyways, we should be there any minute. All right, man, we're here, and uh, if that's Justin, he already's got a fish on the hook, man, just down the bank. I'm gonna walk over here and meet him, grab a couple rods. Let's get started, dudes. GoPro up, a little drizzle out here. Hopefully, it don't shut us down. I think it's just gonna be a light mist, if anything, though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check the weather app. It kinda seems like storms might be on the horizon, man. Oh yeah, I guess we're kinda screwed here in a minute. But yeah, I forgot my uh, Guggenbaits rattling this. Oh, I have some? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it. it sounds like it's about to storm, so we might be in trouble anyways. What you got on your radar? Uh, 90% chance in like half an hour. <laughs> no way. I'm gonna grab some nets, though. Let's see if we can get a bite on the drop shot real quick you know with these bridges around here I wonder if there's a spot we could post up underneath and at least cast out hey man. yes sir Unfortunately, you can't fish here, dude. okay no problem has a city ordinance where you can't fish in open waters okay deal that's fair all right I appreciate you all right, man. thank you there's a major area around yeah. here where there's some bridges we can probably get underneath and cast underneath there and just like have some fun while this shit's going on. Yeah, so yeah, let's yeah. do that. Okay. <laughs> we just got the boot before we even casted a line. Probably not bad timing. And I actually know of a spot around here where I think we can cast despite the rain. Who knows if we'll catch anything, but uh, we're, we're, we're gonna catch something. All right, well, that's just a slight damper on the plans. Now the issue might be getting gas. Is the radar in it? Looks yeah. Like there's some hail. The, well, where we're going, I think there's a garage near where we're parking. Okay. The storm looks kind of bad. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Dang it, man, the bite's supposed to be good right now, but we're almost to this parking lot that uh, I was hoping is covered. Justin was saying it might hail a little bit, so I would ideally like to find a covered spot, and then we're gonna get under these bridges and fish. Just like that, it seems like the storm has subsided. So, we're here. It was literally, I was making that left turn talking about how it was pouring on us, a minute and a half ago and now it's a light drizzle so we're gonna fish under this bridge right here and once it clears up completely we're gonna throw some different stuff we're now a ways away from where we got the boot right off the bat and in a different area entirely so let's have some fun it literally just pulled a 180 I know, I know. bass forecast app is saying the bite should be hot for like the next hour and a half or whatever right yeah we'll have to see don't worry about the camera getting rained on I mean it's as waterproof as waterproof gets I assume yeah I mean I have it to where my mic gets soaked you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just gonna happen. What? Oh, this will work out quite nicely. Shelter in place order. Yeah, we're gonna be limited here, but that's okay. Oh, yo. Yeah, see yeah. that? Yeah. Wonder if they like this water better? <laughs> that's what I said, they might be right there. Right in this cloud, what the heck? No way. No, no way, dude. No way, dude. First no cast? Way. First cast. On the lipless, on the lipless? On the lipless, first dude. No way. Dude, Justin's over here first casting it. No way. That's nuts. Well, you were right about the reaction bite. What the heck, dude?
try and break out a crawl. Guys, we're making a quick move now that it is cleared up uh, to hitting a spot that I've actually caught some fish out of here before. Walk this thing down a little bit and uh, see if we can't get bit now that we're not getting rained on. All right, just made it over to where I was catching them last time. I'm gonna try and see if I can't repeat the process of last event's catch. Yeah, blue baby crawl. There's some aerators in here. This area is protected from the wind and all that stuff, so probably a good spot for beds. Texas rig, pegged weight. Let's go. Oh. Okay, and it's taken us. Okay, wow, first cast over here. Oh my gosh, that was insane. That was on the drop. Nice, same air. Yo, Jay. First fish of the day, right in the bottom lip, and he's going crazy. First fish of the day, and it's a small fatty right here. Look at this thing. That's a big, holy cow. All right, that gets me amped up. That took like zero time at all. Boom, right on the fall, close to the wall. I bet you there's more all along this, and if that's the case, this could be a slay fest. And if it's not, at least we got one to get the skunk off our back. Check it out. First cast on the blue baby, and this thing grabbed it and ran. I'm talking about, went the drag, man. Let's get this thing back in the water. Try and get some more, heck yes. Okay, well, I assume they're eating craws. Let's get this thing back in the water right now. And my uh, peg has gotten moved right on up that line. Set that back down. Let's just get that same, same cast. We're a little bit further than the wall, but let's get that drop. Well, that gets your confidence up in a new spot when you make a move. Hmm. Bites. Had bites. Something just messed with it. I might need to get a little closer to the wall. Right in this corner. I had got one last time. It might be right below us. Okay, they're here, they're here. Wow, back to back, good one bro. Hooked right in the top of the mouth that time, even better. Oh my gosh, look at these guys, fat dudes. Oh man, the bite is on, okay, okay, okay. We're feeling good, the craws are what they want. Guys, check out the spot we are fishing cast back to back with the blue baby cracking crawl. Woo, Guggen Squad Floral Carbon. Thank good. Look at this butterball. Oh my god, it's a little fatty. They might be pre-spawn over here and they're just right up along this wall. Like I said, protected from the wind. They're probably making their beds here also. We got a little bit of a, an almost like an aerator right here. You can see that current. These bass, I think this is the spot, man. Time to snag some more. All right, guys, we're going to have less room to work with right here, but I think we might be able to go three for three. You saw me just working that crawl right here. Some of you guys might have thought I was working it for a while. And uh, like, okay, you already wore that spot out, but dude, they're just right along this wall. You just gotta leave that crawl on their face for a second. Irritate these things. They could very well be on beds right now. And uh, that's all it took, man. Two in a row. And now we've got a third. And now we've got a third in a row. Oh my gosh, this might be the biggest one yet. No way. No way. Let's get them up here. I just wanna let them, let them thrash for a second. Hey! No freaking way. <laughs> no freaking way. <laughs> Is that my first time I've ever gone three casts in a row? <laughs> found it, dude. We found it. We found it, guys. Three casts in a row. This is insane. I just want to get this thing unrigged, untied, and cast again. This is the money zone, guys. Let's go. Oh, you're straight. 
<laughs> Got the third one and three casts. <laughs> Crazy. Let's go. And hey, watch, there, there's these lines. You'll get snagged on those and it ain't coming back. Not too much. How y'all doing? Uh, bass. bass. Yeah. Okay. They're on the prowl, man. I had three in a row there for a second. What's in the water? Bass and whatever. Bat, you know, honestly, in here, there could be a whole lot of things. It's tough to say. I bet you there is crappie and bluegill and bass and... Okay. Thank you. Probably some catfish. All right, we are using this craw, man. <laughs> this thing is getting wrecked. Well, we missed him on that fourth cast in a row. That would have been pretty crazy, but I'm going to go all the way around this thing. This might be a sweet little pocket, though, sweet zone, so... We'll see what happens, man. I'm going to cast out, but right now my focus is just on the wall. There's some cables over here. This is where things get dangerous. If I hook up, I'm going to have to run over there because it's going to take me under that. And that is like straight wire. There we go, right along the wall in the back corner. Just hopped over that wire, letting it sink again. Thought I had a bite. Line's tight. Nope. Yep, there we go. There we go. What do we got? Get out of that wire. Oh, this one might be bigger. God, these are all good fish, guys. Oh, these are all good fish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is insane. This is madness. We have found them, guys. Look at this fish. Oh my gosh. We are just tearing it up in this pocket. This is insane. Look at that black spot right there. Yo, oh my gosh. Fourth fish in 15 minutes. No time to slow down. This is when you do not want to waste time. You've got to just get in here while that bite is good and get it for what it's worth man these are the days thank you guggen squad for sponsoring today's episode wow we are having fun with the guggen baits out here hmm i might switch it up in a minute but uh this is just too much fun setting the hook on a beautiful sunday uh, not even afternoon yet guys this is crazy this could be one of the best days of fishing in a while let's go right back along that wall i think we can get another one i didn't even work this whole thing where's the fives at Oh, I thought we had a bite just there. What just happened? We did, we did, we got it. That's fish number five. Oh gosh, that's fish number five. This is the biggest one. This is the biggest one. Hey, can I get your help on this one? He's a little heavy to lift. If you could uh, grab this, I'm gonna hop down here and just, uh... that's a three pounder, dude. Thank you, just keep that tight if you would. Weston Smith doing Weston Dude, Smith. that's what I'm talking about. For the big mamas. Yo! We got them, boys! We got them! That's a fish right there. All right, here, if you can help me out. Oh, oh we gotta get this thing up there. Oh, you the man. Yes! Yo! No way. No way. No way. Dude. Thank you. Oh! Man, thank you for that right there, Justin. <laughs> we got that big. That's a fat mama right there. Oh my gosh, we had her hooked in the top of the mouth. Look at that hook set. Oh, oh, these fish are on the prowl, man. That's fish number five. I would say that's probably two and three quarters. I don't know if it's hitting three. In fact, we have the scale right here. Let's see what we're talking about. Oh gosh, heart's racing. Then we got to get back in the water. Oh, that was a catch right there. <laughs> Tell me I brought the scale. All right. If y'all haven't seen the scale too, y'all can grab this uh, for like 40 or 50 bucks. And I've used some cheaper ones and they just, it's not the same, man. This thing is really built to last. Oh my gosh. Just shy of three. I was thinking three, but uh, it had settled on 293 there for a second. Okay. A couple ounces shy of uh, three pounds right there. Get you back in the water, mama. Nice and, nice and steady drop. 
Oh my gosh, 10 out of 10 on the dive, swam right off. Fish number five, man. Let's get this crawl back in the water. Oh, she stole my pinchers. We gotta get another blue baby right now. Stat. You gotta throw a crawl, dude. They are hugging the wall. Separate the pinchers. I'm rigging the blue on the bottom. So that's gonna be the color that faces towards the hook. As you start that T-rig, this line is still feeling okay. Otherwise I'd retie. All my weights and hooks are back in the truck. So if I snap off, that we are in trouble. That's another reason why I didn't wanna just whip that bigger one up over the wall. Okay, come on, five pounder. <laughs> Justin just got his first one. <laughs> and it's like, is that a bass or something else? Okay, 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 so it's not a bass. <laughs> I gotta hit this corner pocket. I'm not convinced there's not something right here. They've kind of all been on one side though. Uh, so maybe that that is something to note. You know, a lot of ponds I'll hit and you'll see beds on only a certain side. It just depends on a lot of variables. I would say if they're on that wall as much as they were though, they've got to be all around. I mean, it's just, it only makes sense. This is my first time going like more than five minutes without a bite <laughs> since we <laughs> pulled up. So uh, maybe they have tapered off a little bit. And what's funny is that bite rating, oh no, it's still good for another 15 minutes, but it had pretty much said from like 10 something, I think to 12 something. And now it's about 12, so. He's got it. Oh no, he was swimming with it, guys. Dang it. My line was swimming away from the wall. That's the first one we missed. That was definitely the most subtle bite. It was just a uh, grab and run. I didn't feel anything. I just saw it moving. And sometimes that'll happen, man. You guys got to keep your line tight on these Texas rigs. That way you can notice that movement. If there's any slack, for one, you won't feel the bite. And that might have been what happened. I can't really think back as to what was going on that exact second. But um, there could have been a little slack. And I just missed that peck of him picking it up. And all I saw was that line. So they've switched it up on us. They're not hitting the crawl anymore. Dude, Bass Forecast was so right on the bite time. Okay guys, quick shout out to Bass Forecast. Look at this. See how it shows that we're on the edge of that bite time rating being at its prime? It literally said from 10.15 to 12.15 today was gonna be the best bite, and it's now 12.08. We're at the end of it, and the fish have died off. So sometimes this app does not lie based on its scientific goodness and pressure and ratings and all that and sometimes it's completely off but that's just insane best half hour of fishing i have had in months probably like the best half hour of fishing i've had all spring i mean that was just insane all like none of those were dinks at least you know what i'm saying they were all probably like two pounders and now i am looped on okay. no i'm gonna just switch it up i'm gonna go drag and drop elevate it a little bit and smaller you know just worm i'm gonna see if that has any effect Got him. There we go. Fish number six. Oh, just a little guy on the drag and drop. Quick release, you know. <laughs> this might be the trick, y'all. Just make a move, switch it up on him, go more finesse, um, and that'll do it. I'm gonna just, this line is gonna make me angry. I don't even have time for this. If they're gonna be hitting. Did you see that right there? Yeah, I don't know if that was a bass though. I mean, that was some serious commotion. We might have really lost the drag and drop this time. That's not good. Gonna have to snap the drag and drop. That's a bummer. All the stuff is in the truck to retie it. But you know what? Let's just, let's just, let's give it one last attempt. Uh, I don't know if I want to do all this. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm good. Well, we tried. No, what? No snag? How in the world? How in, what in the actual, I was, okay, well, uh, <laughs> yep, I'm a pro. Told you I had an idea. Okay, we had the one nibble, but it was a smaller guy. I am uh, over the drop shot at this moment. It just keeps getting snagged. At this spot, it is probably not the prime choice. Uh, it very well could be, and I'm just being lazy, uh, and that's fine as well. But what I'm gonna do is switch her on over to the Guggen Squad swim jig, because I've been having luck on this thing lately but uh, never this color saucy swimmer. So we're mixing it up for you guys. This is, I believe the bluegill color, but then that bottom, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yeah, a little flash, the tail looks good kicking. I'm just gonna kind of work it along the bottom. Just do my little pop and reel to retrieve and see if they want something 
that does not resemble a craw or worm, but more a bluegill going after their beds here. Bro, I'm telling you what, they've been slaying for me lately. Just this grass here is ridiculous. This isn't really the spot to throw it necessarily, but. Oh, we just got hit. Wow. That was good. That was good. Let's do that again. Yeah, I need to. I'm gonna have to. I, I need to borrow that thing. Just had a bite right here on the swim jig. Yep, he's got it. There we go. Swim jig did the trick. There we go. Whoo, been a while, guys, but the swim jig is what did it. I got that bite. That's probably the same fish, man. Back to back. Look at that black dot on the bottom. So it's not one that I've caught, but probably the same one that just bit and I missed. So that's picture perfect right there. Look at that. First time ever using that color saucy swimmer with that flash on the bottom. Heck yes. Get them right in the water and go for some more. That white flash might be what does it. Nope. Nope. Dang, that felt good. <laughs> Dang, I thought I just had the best fish of the day on that hook set. I don't know if I have enough line to run this thing out and around. Don't want to lose the grass here though. If I don't have to, these things have been just too good. Walk it out, walk it out. Whoo, easy freebie. I guess I'm gonna hit this wall now. Oh, bad hook set, bad hook set. That was terrible. I just had a big fish, dude. Yeah, I, I just, I, I was like going like this and I didn't get a good hook set. Screwed that up. That was disappointing. That was a good fish. Yeah, I think I think a chatterbait. I was considering it, man. There we go. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good one. Whoo! I think that's number eight. This is another plump on you guys. This is another two and a half plus. Another two and a half plus with a black spot over here. Yes. Grass Hero Jig, getting it done, man. Thank goodness we did not miss him that time. All right, let's go ahead and get him in the water. All right, Grass Hero killing it, dudes. Right in the top of the mouth on that one. Let's go. See you, buddy. 10 out of 10. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Justin has literally got a chair. Yeah, guys, so that's a, an expensive oh, yeah. chatterbait and that's a chair. Got, uh, you know, a chair to go along with the fish. I saw your big one earlier. Dude, that thing was halfway decent. I was excited about that. <laughs> oh, yay! $18 bait saved. <laughs> all right, y'all, what a day, man. Absolutely slayed on all the Guggen gear. Had tons of fun, caught almost 10 fish. We had a couple come off, actually, so we probably had about 10 on the hook. And uh, we are gonna call it at that. It has been fantastic, a fantastic session. We really only got started after 10. It's just now after one. So, tore it up. Thank you, Guggen Squad, for sponsoring today's episode, and we'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Justin behind the camera, really appreciate you, bro. Let's do this again.